No one ever empties their email until it freezes up, so you have two choices, either delete the old ones or archive them. Luckily, Thunderbird offers two good ways of archiving, and you should note that both these processes save the information offline to your computer, so it frees up your online store. So, process one, save complete email to your local folder. First of all, navigate to the local folders at the bottom left of the screen. There it is. Then right click and create a new folder or subfolder. I already have folders created, quite a few of them. So I'm going to create a subfolder. But if you're starting from scratch, you will create just a folder, a main folder. And I'm going to back up some of my 2018 emails. So, first of all, label it 2018 sent emails and create the folder. And there it is in with the 16, 17 and now the 18 sent. So now go to your main emails, the, your online emails. I'm going, I'm going to my sent folder because I'm saving sent emails. Select the folders that you, pardon me, select the emails that you want to save, move to, navigate to the local folders, and I'm going to find sent 2018, and click on, and all those emails have been moved to the offline folder. So again, select the range of folders you want, and that's usually click and hold the caps key down. So I've selected about 15 emails. Thunderbird has already um, put a, a, a note on the menu which says move to the appropriate offline file. Do it again. There it is. Move to. You must, you must move and not copy the emails. Once you move them, they have been removed from the online server to your local computer. And if we check the 2018 file, there are now all your emails. You can access them from your laptop or computer, but they're not online anymore. So they're not uh, jamming up your space. Now, the other way of doing it is to detach the email attachments. The attachments to an email usually consume more uh, storage space than the actual text. So you can keep the emails in position on Thunderbirds, take off the attachments, but you'll still be able to find the attachments by clicking on the email. So this means that you're not bouncing the same uh, pictures back and forth as you reply to emails and they reply to your reply and clogging everything up. So here we go. First of all, let's find uh, an email with an attachment. There's one. And at the bottom of the Thunderbird panel, click on that. And there are the two attachments that we're going to detach and save offline. So, we now create a new folder. Go to your Documents file, create a new folder, and imaginatively enough, I'm going to call it Attachments. That is an empty folder just sitting there waiting to be used. There's the Attachments folder. Okay, so that's in position. That's in your Documents file. Go back to your emails when I get there. And there they are. Select the attachments on the emails. There they are. Right click on the attachment. Right click. And detach. Press the detach on the menu. And you navigate to the folder you've just created. It's in my documents file. I find it. And there it is, attachments. And it's empty. And we say, yes, that's the folder. And it says, uh, this message, this cannot be undone. This process cannot be undone. And so now we have moved those two attachments into the folder that's been created offline. And there they are. But the clever thing about Thunderbird is that when you're in your Thunderbird page, whenever you click on that email, 
and click on the attachment that has now been detached, you can still automatically navigate back to the attachment that you've just put in the folder. So it's offline, still there safe, and not consuming your communication, storage, space, and bandwidth. And there is the offline attachment. And that's how it's done. As ever, any problems, just give me a call. Always happy to help. Any questions? 07521 941 560. It's that simple.